G'day guys. Um, just realised that all the other ones had had like a filter on them, which is weird. Um, don't know how that happened. Must have realised you can swipe to put filters on, left and right. Who thought? No one told me. Anyway, here we are. Um, same canvas as before. What are we going to do with it? Who knows? Fetnoy Civile. Welcome, Noy. Forced. Can't read that, sorry. It is outside my repertoire of understanding. That brush is no good. Hi, Sam Josh DL. How you doing? Hey, Gay. Hey, Cobb. Hey, Kimberly. Hey, Kelly. How you doing, guys? We're back, if you were here this morning, this is the same canvas, and uh, turns out I'm an idiot. You already knew that, but I had the um, live feed for the last however many sessions on a, a filter. I didn't realize it was on a filter, didn't know I turned it off. Now, before I started it, swipe left and right, it was like B1, B2, B3, B4, and I'm like, oh, filters. Um, so now we're on completely neutral, so it won't look weird anymore. So sorry if I looked all pinky, that's on me. Uh, anyway, picture, where'd he go? Uh, behind me, there we go. Where to put it, we can go right here for now. Big fan of putting the picture on the art. Yeah, I've just come from the gym, so my hair's wet, I'm sorry. Didn't have time to dry it. Con, uh, sorry, C, 10 hours, 26 N4. Thank you for sharing the live. We can spread around some love today. You're a part of that, and I appreciate you. Have you ever done oil paintings? I have. This is one. How you doing? Um, this is oil, mostly. There's some acrylic here. There's a bit of everything. In fact, I'm even being so rebellious as I'm mixing acrylic compounds with oil paints. Should you do it? No. Are we? Yes. It's fine. It really doesn't matter. Um, oh, C. Actually, C. Welcome back. Um, are they prescription? No, they're not. They're times 1.5 because I couldn't see too well reading the comments and looking at the canvas. So we're doing a bit of a swap over today. Uh, so I can try and get everything. I was in an op shop today. In an op shop, got some new shoes. Um, and these new shoes, I'll show you. That's the new shoes. How much? $8. Eight dollars, and so after I bought them, I saw these glasses in the cabinet, and uh, one point five zoom, and I thought that's exactly what I need, because um, I was already lamenting on how much lamenting on how much of a battle it was to read some comments this morning, and now I've got it all covered, so that's fantastic. Good day, Justin. Welcome back. Um, just quickly, I know I'm making it sound like it's a really good idea to mix acrylic compounds with oils. It will make them gluggy. It won't go nice and spreading. It'll go all gluggy. So there we go. Do you ever donate an awesome print? Um, look, I haven't donated, I've done any prints before. I've donated artwork. Um, but if you would like a print, uh, get in touch with me and tell me which artwork. So I may have some high quality photos. And if I can't get you a print, the very least I can do is send you the image so you can make your own print. Because that's fair. Um, I'm big on that guys, I believe everyone should have access to art, so if I can't sort you out with print, I'll sort you out with a photo to get your own print, I won't leave you hanging. How many paintings can you do in a day? Jesus, that's a great question. A lot, a lot. Um, I can do a little bit on a lot of paintings, I think that's a better way to put it. I'll do, if you leave these to my own devices, I mean, depends how many hours you can do. Painting takes five hours, can do 15 paintings a day, 15 layers on paintings a day, layer on paintings about an hour. You probably get about three paintings done a day. So you're going Van Gogh rates. 2.30 a.m. here in England, I should be asleep, but you are the live, oh, well, that's lovely. Welcome back, Steve. It's been a while since you've been on the stream and it is lovely to have you back. When you finish the painting, always the clear stuff, you pour on it and hit it with flame. Yes, so that stuff is liquid polymer glass. It's like an epoxy. You can get reasonable stuff from your local DIY store. You don't need to go to the fancy places to get it. 
um, which is rich coming from me because I do go to the fancy places, thanks for the fire. Um, but it's fine, any, I've used all the epoxies, um, some of them do yellow faster, but for an initial hit, any epoxy is going to do the trick for you. So go and get, um, uh, it's called, yeah, it's called epoxy, just be very careful when you use it, um, because it is very fumey, so you're more valuable than any piece of art could ever be. Um, wear a the proper respirator and do it in a ventilated space, so you can look after yourself. Um, also, the flame is to pop uh, bubbles because it's not the heat of the flame that pops the bubbles, it is the, it is the blah, 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 CO2 inside the flame that makes the bubbles pop. G'day mate. Hey. Are you in Australia or New Zealand? This is New Zealand. So it's New Zealand and this is Auckland. Hope you have an amazing day, I better go to sleep. <laughs> Cheers, Steve. Hey, maybe, it could be a thing, who knows. Um, we could make it a thing. We could make it a thing. Um, yeah, but get some good sleep and I'll see you next time, Steve. What's your thought on post-impressionism art? Every piece of art has its place, guys. Hi? Wow, I've never heard of that place before. That's pretty special. So every bit of art has its place. You've just got to pick your favourite and run with it. Um, I like impressionism though, I'm a big fan. Okay, now we're coming back with some tans, guys. From Colorado. Welcome from Colorado. Good to have you here. What are you doing? Art painting. So this is a picture. You might be able to see the face here. Two arms. See me person down here. Leg, leg, body. We started this morning and all we're doing is just having some fun. So this is not this is not a commission, this is not serious, this is just fun. My hair after seeing you. Are you a gym specialist? If you are, that's fantastic. Lucky me. I'm about to retire and I'm planning to start painting on North Carolina map. That is the coolest thing I've heard today. All right, can you do me a huge favor? Can you, do the re can you do me and the rest of the world a huge favor? If you're feeling confident enough to do it, can you please stream it? So then we can all be involved in the painting you do in the wild North Carolina landscape in your retirement, because that's something that uh, I think I speak for all of us, would all love to be involved in. Central New York, hi, love it. Welcome from Central New York, you absolute wildcat. Good to have you here. Love New York. It's expensive, but I love it. Post lunch outfit change, yes indeed. Yes indeed. So I went to the gym, um, got changed, and now we have one painting session, but this is it's, the session's called Tuesday Quickie for a reason, because I'm only going to be here for, ooh, another 30 minutes. You've got 30 minutes with me, and it'll hit the track. Um, same reason as yesterday. I've got someone, a lovely lady, who's dragging me out to go meet her cousin. And I cannot be late, so I'll hit the track. I'd like to have spent a couple of hours here, but it is what it is. We're just going to make it do. I want to start painting, but I'm scared. What's the name there? Shianton? Shianton? Shianton. Shianton, if I'm saying that right, you are an incredible person. You have the ability to be great inside you, and if you are enjoying painting or want to paint, you have not only every right to paint, 
but you can also do a great job. The most important thing is you like what you're doing. Half the world will look at this and hate it, and that's okay. You know why? Because I'm enjoying it. And there's some people here who are enjoying me doing it. So you do you, and you'll find people who love you. Go start painting. Power to you. Next person. Hi, Seb. Thanks for sharing your passion with us all. You are more than welcome. I'm so glad to be here, and good to see you here again. I recognize that little profile picture. Cheers, Monet. Imagine if that's the real Monet. He's come back from the grave just to leap on this live stream on TikTok and compliment my painting. So chuffed. Hi from Amsterdam, welcome. I've had someone contact me from Amsterdam actually for a painting. I've never shipped to Amsterdam before guys. Never, ever, ever have I ever. So if that goes ahead, that'll be fun. Hi from Thailand, I love Thailand. Hello, Tanya. Tanya from Thailand. Nice. Um, I, 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 um, I was going to say, I love Laos, which is beside Thailand. Thailand's all good, big fan, great food, but Laos, ooh, ooh, ooh. big fan. You're handsome, your art is great. Oh, thank you, Jason, you're a champion. I appreciate you. Don't get paint on your clothes. I trust myself slightly. I think we'll be all right, maybe. Maybe. I'm like, how y'all not get my name? <laughs> Did I get your name, though? Monet? It's Monet, right? A little bit right? So with this sort of painting too guys, you can get locked onto doing little areas and get stuck in ruts. A rut is sort of when you start just chiseling away in one little area, very slowly, not making a lot of traction. We want to make traction, we want to make ground, and we want all our strokes to have this big expressive feeling of vitality and vigour. If we don't do it fast, it's not going to have that vitality and vigour. So don't worry about accuracy, let photos be accurate, your job is to add vigour to the painting. So we're actually just, so we're, I'm actually just really trying to capture that and keep telling myself over and over again, faster, faster, faster. That's the goal. Hi, Xavier. Is it the Xavier from X-Men? Good to have you here. Fantastic. Love your work. What part of New Zealand are you from? We are in Auckland. Auckland. We're usually in Tauranga though. So this is a new change. Have a fun night out. Uh, it won't be a big night out. We're just meeting up with each other and doing some work. Should start with smaller paintings first and then work my way out to larger pieces? Oh, Cobb, you could. Um, I would start, I wouldn't worry about the size of it. I would worry about the, uh, the, the, the cost of it. If you get a canvas, like a big expensive stretch canvas. We're in Auckland. Uh, I don't really know Auckland that well. Uh, North Auckland, um, Northwest, uh, by something called Mount. Um, anyway, uh, canvas, um, if you get a canvas, you really do put big pressure and expectations on yourself. Um, because with the, uh, I see a Titanic quote there, well done. Um, if you get a really nice canvas, you put the expectation on yourself to do a really nice job. And maybe that's not what you need to do to start with. Maybe you just need to actually start painting and build the rhythm of it. And so I'd get bored. Go to a DIY store like Mitre or Bunnings, buy some cheap MDF or hardboard and just start painting on it. And if it's no good, you can just throw it away. You can paint over it, but it's not the expectation that you get with a canvas. So ignore size and think more um, quality. In this case, low quality. Hi, I can't pronounce your name, but welcome. Gus Man, never heard of him, but that sounds cool. Do you ever struggle with procrastinating all the time? All the time. Procrastination is a huge thing. And so what you need to do if you're procrastinating, have an argument with yourself. Have an argument with yourself and ask yourself very, very clearly, what will make me paint? 
what do I need to do to make me paint? And you'll say things like, well, I just feel too cluttered right now. Well, I don't, I just don't have the energy to right now. Okay, literally I nail it down. What's stopping you from painting? You're feeling too cluttered? Right, you're not painting today. Clean your room, clean your car, clean your garage, clean everything. Get it all sorted, get a fresh slate, start from scratch. If, not, if I don't have the energy, I just don't feel like I've got the energy to actually mentally paint, um, to me the mental energy to paint. Cool, all right. Let's look at your diet, let's look at your exercise. Are you at least walking each day? Just a 30 minute walk, that'll do it. Are you eating right? I skip food so fast, I see it. I spend days just having this, and if you just have this, what's gonna happen? You're gonna be mentally exhausted. Don't do that to yourself. Eat good, drink good. Get a little bit of exercise, not a lot. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. Sleep good, sleep good, oh my God. The uh, stereotype of a late night painter working away. Yeah, for one session, but then what happens the next day? You're cooked. You're supposed to go back into the studio and do another seven hour set, no way. You won't be able to do it. Um, do you listen to 660? Of course I do. Every kid who listens to 660. Huge fan. Nice glasses, Superman. <laughs> Thanks, Andre. They're actually uh, times three, times 1.5s. So they're helping me see just a wee bit closer on this canvas. Depending on the day, I can battle a little bit, guys. I can see closely, or no, I can like, I can read right, or I just need a, a little extra boost. Um, this should be the second outfit because I've only streamed live once today. Could be the third. Shouldn't be the third. If you're wondering though, guys, this is oil paint. Nice to see you're happy like that. Uh, I am happy, but I'm not sure what like that's about. Just sort of like, ooh, you saw them in Chicago. That's a win. That's cool. If you get a chance to see 660 guys, they are pretty cool. Um, they used to play for like 30 bucks when I was in Otago University. So it wasn't a big deal to go see 660 back in the day, but nowadays it's costly. So time's changed. But it was funny, like you'd see tickets for 660 at like 50 bucks and you'd be like, 50 bucks for 660, no way. Cause you're just used to growing up with them. And now, you know, <laughs> obviously they're worth five, six, however much times that, but uh, $50 ticket you can be in the front of a stage for 660. Wild. I must go, this could, sorry, I missed that. This could be good, new friend, but, oh, all right. Go for gold. Oh my God, that's fair enough. Appreciate that though, guys. What kind of paint do you suggest to start with? I would start with acrylics. Acrylics are great, but you want to get some of this. This stuff. All this stuff is, is it's gloss medium. And the reason why that's great is that what will happen is that when your acrylic paint dries, it looks dry and it cracks a little bit and it goes all tacky. If you add the gloss medium, that's what this big lump here here is, it keeps the paint looking wet once it dries. And so you might finish a painting, think you like it and think you had a great session, go to sleep, wake up, look at it and think, it's bad, why is it bad? Because the paint dried darker, it dried worse and it's not as fun. So, big recommendation to actually mixing through the gloss medium to keep the paint looking shiny and wet and you'll like your end product more. Um, yeah, and thank you so much guys. If you are enjoying yourselves, I really do appreciate you sharing the like. Um, much love goes out to all of you. I missed a few names there, but uh, you're all fantastic. What is this called? This? This is a painting. Um, no, sorry, that's been, that's me being a dick. Um, excuse my language. This here is uh, oil painting, mainly. A bit of acrylic at the bottom. There's a picture, see it here, of a man jacket, pants, Turn down here, he's got a cane, and um, it's coming together. We're just filling in the gaps now and using out the paint that's on the tray. So to mix a little in the paint, yeah, yeah. So as long as you add a little bit, you'll be fine. There's really no requirement to add a lot. 
if you want to add a lot, you can add a lot. You don't have to keep a constant ratio, you can keep chopping and changing it. I do. Um, 1 to 1, 5 to 1, 6 to 1, 20 to 1. Whatever you want to do, you do you. Do I have a favourite painting? Oh, that's a good question. No. I like a lot of different paintings for a lot of different reasons. Um, favourite painter? Van Gogh. I think one thing the world wants more than anything is a cross between Van Gogh, the greatest creator of all time, and Bob Ross. Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Van Gogh. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Bob Ross, the greatest presenter of all time. Swipe white to remove the comments. Ah, oh, yeah, fair enough. Um, I've got the comments on large so I can actually read them. Yeah, I said gloss medium, so I've got two here. Gloss medium. Doesn't need to be this brand. This is a pricey brand. You don't need a pricey brand. I just got it on sale, so it looks like it was worth the deal. And this one here is heavy gloss gel. This is the same stuff. That's just a gloss medium that goes in the paint. The heavy gloss gel leaves more texture, so the texture is great. If you're, um, yeah, if you want more texture. Um, that makes the paint strokes look more like paint strokes. It's also one of your hobbies. Perfect. Salvador Dali, great guy. I almost got to see his uh, see his his house while I was in Barcelona, I think. But alas, it wasn't meant to be. Good night, V Mad. I'll miss you. Um, do you do other kinds of arts besides painting? Nehu. No, I'm just a painter through and through. I went and had some baby blues in here, guys. If we don't lose our paint tray, it is. Here we go. I'm going to add some baby blues in. Which are... This is the one we're after. There we go. Do you speak any other languages, Justin? No, I do not. I speak the language of paint. No, I don't speak any other languages. Not one. Um, I speak a little bit of a few languages, but not enough to say you're fluent in them. To say you're fluent in them is an insult to people who are fluent in languages. It would be nude in New Zealand. Uh, it is 4 p.m. or going on 4 p.m. Now, guys, I didn't want to lead you on for the big long session. This is only going for the next 25 minutes max. So, um, I would love to be here longer, but I've got to dash because someone's introducing me to their cousin and I cannot be late. So again, I'm sacrificing accuracy for energy. So we're going as fast as we can, uh, not any sort of spiritual weird sort of energy. I say weird, any spiritual energy. We're sacrificing accuracy for vigor and vitality in these brush strokes. That's what we're after. Yes, we do sell them. So if you go on my website, in my bio, you'll see a link to my website. From the website, you can order the artwork that's being finished. There's a couple up there that are currently available, or you can order um, a commission. If the commission site, if the commission's there, don't work for you, you're welcome to contact me directly via Instagram or email, or via the contact link, and we can work out something special just for you. Um, I ship to the US, to Australia, to Europe, to the UK, and around New Zealand, or you're welcome to pick up from New Zealand. If you're in New Zealand, I'm based in Auckland in the Bay of Plenty and the art can be in either location or you can ship the artist to you. So me the artist, you can actually hire me to come to you. Um, that's handy if you've got big things like a mural. Um, things like Clint Eastwood who's two meters tall on a canvas, you can box them up and send them to the US but that's about 5,000 bucks. So sometimes it's just easier to get the artist and send it. So that's how it goes. Thanks for sharing the live, guys. I appreciate you. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. 
Tuesday. You never know what someone's gone through on a Tuesday, so if we can spread some love, then uh, we may just be able to sort someone out with a better day. Uh, I don't know. I think New Zealanders are doing their best. Oh, thanks guys. And I do not have Twitter. But if I did, I'd just spend my time posting art quotes for you guys. I'd be like, hey guys, just remember, you're great. If you want to, you can paint too. Um, yeah. Um, I love the way you say Tuesday. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair enough. I am left-handed. I am. Is that wild? Or was that expected? Probably expected. Bum bum I'd love art quotes. Vic, you know what, Vic? If you hang around, and please do, um, one day I might just announce that I have a Twitter and you can go on there for a daily art yarn where I'll post one thing a day that motivates or moves me. I mean, where else would I do that? I sort of, I, I sort of just regurgitated it all to you guys live here right now. I had a feeling I was left-handed. Oh, thanks, Sam. Appreciate you. And you're left-handed too. Cool. Left-handed's gloves. I thought the yellow pants were... Ooh. Looks like it. Looks like it. That's what Abstract's all about. It's just... It's just a bit wild. Could be a bar. We could make it a bar. Paint me like one of your French girls. Yeah. That's not even the first time that's been said on this very stream. So, uh... Thank you for sharing. Very, very iconic Titanic quote that keeps making circles on Instagram, and TikTok, and it shows up with Arnold's, if you've seen the most recent one with Arnold Schwarzenegger's face, and he's like, with Jack, and he's like, I don't know what he's saying, I forget. I want you to break me like one of your French girls. It's like his actual voice, it's a whole thing. If you've seen it, then you'll understand what I'm talking about, and be like, that's a very poor impression. If you haven't seen it, you'll be like, what is he doing? Um, yeah. So if you're wondering with the brush we're using, this is just a pig bristle brush. Why? Because I don't think you need to spend a lot of money on brushes. You can just have fun with any quality of brushes as long, as long as the paint. This is of a reasonable quality. That's the major, you need quality paint. Do you do other styles other than abstracts? Um, I bring in some realism every now and again to an abstract, but no, I, um, it was actually deviating from my beloved style that put me off painting for a while in my early 20s. Um, because I thought, I don't like painting, it's, it's this and it's that. And that was actually incorrect. I just didn't like the style of painting I was doing. So, now that I'm coming back to painting in a big way, I am very hard up on this is how I like to paint, now I do it. And that's okay. So, this is my main style. I do some charcoals, I do some graphite, um, acrylic oils. I mess around with gouache every now and again, but in all honesty, I just love thick, primal, raw color, and just trying to have fun depicting an image. Um, hi, hi guys, how you doing? Um, appreciate you guys. Joe, Arlene, I'm not sure, Alicia. Um, and why, how does painting make you feel? How does it make me feel? Um, probably the same way it makes a jeweler feel when they make jewelry, or a joiner feel when they make tables, or a uh, rugby player feel when they're playing the sport, or a gym bunny feel when they're working out. There's a flow state you enter. There's a uh, there's a special sort of feeling you get when you're engaged in an activity that you when you're engaged in your craft and you're making something. And I guess I'm sort of fortunate because for me, I can I mean I can enter that flow state and make art and appreciate it while sharing it with you guys. So. That's kind of special because that means you guys can join the process and if you're an artist yourself, hopefully I can um, connect with it in a way that helps you do what you need to do or 
If you're not an artist and you've got another craft, maybe perhaps inspire you to do your thing. I'll do like a little catalyst. Um, so good, long and short answer. Feels good. Um, especially when you get the, um, when people come to you and say, hey, really enjoyed watching, really helpful. Um, I'm gonna pick up my paintbrush again, or I've started doing this now, blah, blah. Um, that's really wholesome. So really fun and special. What are your thoughts on sable brushes? Sable brushes. Um, I don't know enough about brushes, I'm afraid. I know a lot about paint, but not brushes. So you've got me out of my comfort zone there. Um, it's expressionism. I love you. I love you too. Um, it is sort of expressionism. It's sort of impressionism. It's sort of abstract. It's sort of poor attempt at realism. It's sort of all the little things. Um, it's really fun. Um, it wants to be the sort of art where you can look at for a long time and keeps on giving. Um, not in the way that you're like, oh my god, lost in awe, um, seeing so much cryptic messages and no, 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 just look at it in terms of, that's fun. So the same way you stare at a sunset and you just watch it and go, hmm, wholesome. Um, that's what the painting wants to do in a small way. Here's some water. Oh yeah, fair enough. Yo, yeah, thanks guys. Appreciate it. Um, <laughs> Hey, if your algorithm starts showing you art bids, you're off to a cracker of a start. That's a great way to be. You deserve all those art bids. Um, metaphorical realism. Metaphorical realism. I don't fully know what that is. Is that surrealism? But good for you. Honestly, sounds like you're carving out your own thing, and I think that's super cool. You do that. Um, hello from Mexico. Welcome. Um, also, guys, if you're having fun here, I always really appreciate it if you help me spread the love to more people by sharing the stream, um, which is always fun. Otherwise, no worries. Just stay here and hang out with me. Either way, still love you, and it's all good. So, where were we at? The sky. Here we go. Thanks for the roses, Jason. I appreciate every single one of them. They could be my roses. Do, 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 do. Also, if you are here giving gifts, guys, thanks, Booty, for the share. Um, I do try, after the stream's finished, to grab, like, the top gifters and actually follow you guys because, uh, yeah, it's the least I can do. And it's pretty special because, obviously, you've had some fun and I would have had more fun with you, which is cool. Um, you're off to bed, C. Oh, come on. Okay, get some sleep. Um, I'll be here same time tomorrow with a bit of luck. Not this session, but the earlier morning session. So I will see you then. Get some sleep. Where's the furthest geographical location? Oh, oh. USA is the furthest from here, isn't it? USA. But USA is all sort of the same. So whether it's going to Colorado or New York or wherever, same killer fish, right? Um, 15 more minutes, guys, and then I'm gone very as well. 14 more minutes. So I'm just warning you of that, because I don't want to let you down when I suddenly need to disappear. 14 more minutes. What inspired you to paint that old man? Um, well, this morning I had no images left, so I told everyone that I was going to head off to um, print off some images. And then they told me no, um, I'm not allowed to. I have to paint something else. And I only had one other image, and it was of this old man. So here we are, painting the old man. <clears throat> Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it a lot. Um, 
can see here, I've actually overextended these legs. This is supposed to be to here. Beanie's supposed to go here. <coughs> yeah, I get too excited with these legs. That's all right, though. That's all right. It will survive. First I was afraid, I was petrified. Thinking I could never live without you by my side. Thanks for the cake, you're the best. And, uh, oh yes, all right. Yeah, have a nice night. Um, have an amazing time and I'll see you next time. Um, thanks for joining in, for both actually. You've been to both, so I really appreciate you. And yeah. I'm so sorry guys if it's like uh, quite late where you are in the world and I've caught you at a bad time, but I appreciate you joining in anyway. Vic, thanks for sharing the live, you're the best. Um, and yeah, and Ja, Ja Vixia, um, come off the canvas. Uh, yeah, but a tan makes a big difference, but a tan makes a big difference. Um, we want all the attention not to go on the arms in terms of the hands or the faces. We want it all on the wrinkles and the curves of the clothing. That's where we want the attention because that's the biggest part of the painting. Um, Birdie, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm about to go. You've got me for another 12 minutes. 12 minutes, it's a long time. What does the dark colours represent for you? Um, dark colours, what do they represent for me? Um, look, they're all just tones at the end of the day. What name was that? Des, I love you. Um, that was quite cool. It was pretty special. And I haven't seen your name on the stream before, but you should come more often. Um, so dark colors are like any color. I don't think there's like, uh, I don't like attaching connotations to darkness or light in a painting. Um, use black and white to construct the subject. If you chose an image with a lot of darkness in it, paint the darkness. It's okay. Do your thing. And if you chose an image with a lot of light in it, paint the light. But uh, I've got some very dark tonal images that aren't actually dark images, figuratively speaking. They're um, very happy images, but they involve a lot of black. I think it more comes down to what you're depicting and how you're depicting it. If it's dark with angry brush strokes the whole way over it, yeah, it's probably going to look pretty dark and angry. But it doesn't matter if it's dark. If the brush strokes are happy, it sounds weird to say it, but if they're more positive in the way you've constructed the painting, I'm sure that the painting will come off happy overall. I reckon. Yeah, Evelyn, new painting. So we started this one this morning, and we're just hammering some coats on it, and we're making very good ground. So, likely... Um, and I want to do this one fast. I want to whip this one out at a heck of a rate, get it done, so that way you guys can see what a faster painting comes off like. So, main goal right now is to have fun with the paint, add it on where you think it goes, and we just want the painting to... I mean, it's coming together just right, right now, actually. Um, we could stop right now, but I want to get some more thick textures in there. So we're going to keep going for a little bit longer. Um, and I'm, I'm going to cheat too, guys, because this is going to be coming out tomorrow for another round. Um, and I said I was going to get it done today, which I meant to, but in this case here, we're not going to get it done today. We're going to do two rounds. Dos. Thanks, Des. Appreciate the whipped cream coffee. How lovely. Just spin this around in my hand. There we go. Now... Moving on to yellow, a lot of yellow. Get some thick chunks of yellow in this painting. Since we're about to finish in 12 minutes, I'm really applying the paint deliberately because it'll have all night to actually set into place. And it'll be tacky by morning. It won't be dry, but it'll be tacky. And that's perfect because it means I can paint straight over it without worrying too much about um, without worrying too much. Thanks for the wishing bottles, Des. Sorry, I was facing the other way. I read your last name wrong. I thought it was Grower. Ah. No, it's not Grower. It's Gower. 
Gawa like a tower. If you're just joining us, guys, I was warning you all, I'm out of here in eight minutes. So, um, <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I think we all know how I meant that. Let's all settle down. Um, so, 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 I've got a problem down the bottom here with this proportioning because I've actually, uh, actually extended the legs too far into the space down the bottom here. It should be okay, but it's a little bit niggly. Are we going to leave it out of proportion or are we going to fix it? I think we're going to leave it, to be honest. We'll find it out. Are you a sketcher as well? I'm dropping paintbrushes. Am I a sketcher as well? Uh, I'm a little bit of a sketcher. Not a good one. Like, I sketch because I like to sketch, but the results are uh, variable. Um, my realism sketching is not on fire. <laughs> Cheers guys, appreciate you. Okay. There we go. So we want this jacket to look a little bit psychedelic, which it is. It's coming off just like that. Psychedelic. Bad term for it. I mean like uh we want the jacket to look like look really fun. Not just be a boring brown jacket that wants to really capture that zest of life that's what we're after holy moly oh thank you so much um yeah so this is this is what we can do this is this is more abstract um it's got more fun in it um the brush strokes are all very wild very wild they're supposed to look like brush strokes they're supposed to be fun um and if that's what you like in the painting then you should reach out to me because this is this is quite fun and if you've got a wall that suits these colors it's quite cool because you can keep looking at it and you'll keep seeing other little bits in it that you didn't see the first time you can stare at it and stare at it which is cool John Wayne was Santa Claus. That's pretty much what this guy is. His name is John Ward, and that's probably a fitting description of him. Do you paint all subjects or still art and landscape? I try and do some landscapes, but I keep falling back on portraits as subjects. So, that's just me. Okay, so we've got, I'll put this brush down. That paints out. We've got one big brush here. We do have a big brush here. Yes, we do. Those ones can go over there. I'm gonna grab this off here, put it over here. This is our, this is our, mixing it in there, high gloss gel. So I've mixed it in with all the blue for the last five minutes. There's our semi baby blue. And then I'm gonna attack it on where I think it goes. This is gonna be quite fun. Fun loose coat. We're going to lose a bit of definition in this coat. That's okay. Because we're going to come back tomorrow and add the definition back in there. No love lost. Let's get that on really thick. 
back since we've got it. There we go. Nice. Nice. A bit more in here. Now we're talking. Get some on that thingy there. Why not? And then some more over here. There we go. We really want to get as much of this on the canvas as possible. There we go. Perfect. Now we're talking. Sorry if I missed any comments there, guys. Uh, thank you so much for the wishing thing. And how does the gel mix with the paint? Just another layer? Can you paint over it? You can. But this will be quite thick, so that's going to dry the exact way it looks. Um, I'm not Bob Ross, but he's an amazing guy. And that's a huge compliment. So thank you oh so much. Um, we're going to add this stuff into the background and put it on thick. We may as well, because we have it here. So why not? You know what I mean? Use it all up because we have it. Bum, 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 bum. And we've got two minutes left, guys, so I really have to use it all up. There, there is no choice. All go on the canvas just like that. There we go. Perfect. Done and dusted. That's all sorted. Check that one into that one. Cool. What was on earlier when you happened to... Yeah, so we swapped over, guys. So we had a white shirt and blue pants on. Black pants. Went to the gym, swapped it out. Now we're in these clothes. So it's a wild world out there. Anyway, that is me done. How long does painting take you? Uh, we're on about our second hour at the moment, so with the first hour live with you guys this morning, this was the second hour, and now I'm holding the track because I've got to go to meet my partner's cousin, who I'm sure is a lovely person, and I cannot wait. But we're leaving, meeting back at her house at 4.30, and then leaving from there, so I've got 15 minutes to be back to the house and also wash these brushes and put things away, so... That's where I'm at. Am I scared to get paint on my clothes, David? I'm, I'm fairly confident these days. Um, probably overly so. I ruin the occasional piece of clothing. But uh, yeah, I try and get it from paint to plate, then plate to canvas as clean as possible. And that lets you sort of know too, when you see my abstract works, like this sort of stuff, that although it looks wild, there was never a moment where it was out of control. It was always paint went from plate to canvas, plate to canvas, so always exactly where I wanted it. Um, who was the person you were painting? A guy named John Ward. I'll show you up close since we're here. There we go. That's him there. So you're pretty close when you say Santa Claus crossed with uh, whoever the other guy was. John Dutton crossed with Santa Claus. That's what he said. Surprisingly accurate way of looking at it. Um, perfect. Paint a canvas. Yeah, thank you very much Vic and thanks for everyone for joining today. Um, you make painting so much fun and I appreciate each and every one of you for hanging out with me while I'm doing this. Uh, last question there from Roxy, how much for commissions? You can check it out online on the website if you go to the link in my bio and uh, there should be an Instagram there too. If those commissions don't work for you at those sizes um, or you've got something else in mind, uh, reach out to me personally and we can work out something just for you. Um, a lot of the time people want smaller works or bigger works or specifically sized works so we can work that out too. Within New Zealand it's really simple, shipping is low, overseas it's expensive because it's so far for the travel and it's got to go in protective boxes. Um, we can also roll the works up which makes it cheaper but for a lot of these things with the amount of thick texture that I put on them it's best if they get boxed properly so that's how we go. Alright guys. You're the best, and uh, we will see you. I will see you, hopefully, tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, so I'll do a session tomorrow morning, and then I'll leave to go to Toronto. And we'll be back in the Corona studio that night.
But uh, that's the plan. All the best, guys, and we will catch you later. Bye.